Welcome, air gunners. Sometimes we struggle with small, difficult to read gauges that just aren't necessarily as accurate as we want. Well, how about if we could come up with a solution that we could have a reference gauge that was easy to use with our standard uh, quick connect fittings and would still allow us to get a really accurate, really reliable measurement on the fill pressure for our guns. Let's check this out. Let's see what a build looks like. This is a Meanlin gauge. Uh, it comes with a rubber jacket. It's glycerin filled. It's meant for rugged duty. Um, and it is surprisingly accurate for its cost. It's very reasonably priced. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a heavy duty uh, all stainless hardware on this, on the T end of things. Now we need an adapter to go from the one quarter NPT down to one eighth NPT, which you know, it's much easier to find standard air gun fittings in 1-8. Um, so let's get this assembled and see what this is all about. Now, I've come to start using this stuff a lot more. It's the 565 product from Loctite. It's meant to replace the Teflon tape that you would normally use. Um, this stuff is not Loctite, uh, so don't don't go off on uh, thinking that this is going to be un impossible to remove afterwards, because that's not true. Uh, it's just a really good um, thread sealant that is liquid-based, easy to apply. You don't need any technique or anything here. In fact, I probably put on a little bit more than I should have. Um, but we can wipe it off at the end when we're done. But what we're going to do is put each one of these joints together with this compound and, uh, and then tighten them up when we get near the end. And uh, it's going to go pretty darn well. And I have to say, I, I let mine sit overnight uh, before I put them into service. I'm not sure what the cure time is on this, but overnight did the trick for me. It might have been even sooner than that. But we get everything screwed together here and fit it up, and then we get the wrench on it to tighten it up. Now, I probably should have held on to the to the hex on the, on the gauge as well, but I didn't. I was lazy. I <laughs> didn't want to go get another wrench. But anyway, I do love these Nipix uh, parallel jaw pliers. They don't leave a mark, and they actually grip on the flats rather than the points. So I, I like them better than even a uh, an open-end wrench because of the way they grip the uh, the fastener. But here I'm putting in a couple of, uh, of males. Make sure you use a male without a check valve in it. Uh, that will that'll make a bad day <laughs> if you can't vent the air in this assembly. You want open um, male quick connects. And you can put a male and a female on here depending on the arrangement of your whips. All of my whips have a female on both ends, so this made sense for me. But you can certainly alternate and, uh, and do something different on yours. Make sure you get these good and snugged up because remember an NPT, National Pipe Taper, relies on it being tight in order to um, to force those threads together to get the seal. That's how they work. So make sure you get the torque on there. I mean, don't snap them off, but you know, don't be a don't be a pansy about it either. Now, I do keep the nylon or the uh, plastic vinyl caps on my just to keep the junk out of the gauge and therefore out of my gun for when I am filling. But as you can see, this is a a really nice looking assembly. I mean, it, it, it's not expensive. It's not an arm and a leg in parts. And it does work uh, amazingly well. Now, here I'm going to just demonstrate putting the whips on there. And uh, it's, you know, easy as could be to plug this in when you want it. I mean, you don't need it necessarily every fill. Once you get an idea for where your uh, gauges on your given gun are, then you don't really need the reference gauge every time you can gauge it because you'll know what the error is. But if you want to know if your gun or your compressor is telling the truth, this is a great way to do it. Now here I'm running this against what I consider my reference gauge. This was a very big, very expensive gauge out of an industrial plant uh, that I picked up and had calibrated. And it is exceptionally accurate. And this gauge, for its price, is tracking it exceptionally well. Uh, it's doing a great job. Here it is just crossing 200 bar, and it's right on target. Um, I got to say, I'm really, really impressed with this inexpensive Meanland gauge. It goes all the way up to 5,000 PSI. Mm -hmm. 